Okay, we'll start out with your name and title here. All right, my name is Logan Gonzalez, and I'm the secretary of the Society of American Military Engineers student chapter at South Alabama. Okay, um, can you give us a little rundown of what SAME is all about? Yeah, SAME is, uh, they lead collaborative efforts to identify and resolve national security infrastructure related challenges uh, for our nation. They were founded in 1920. Uh, and they bring together the public and the private sector. Uh, so the professional post, uh, the mobile post of SAME, they do a lot of work between uh, private companies such as Hargrove or Thompson uh, and the Army Corps of Engineers. Um, the student chapter here at South is fairly active. We do usually three to four events a year. Uh, as well as two events with the professional post. Uh, so we get a lot of networking opportunities. SAME is perfect for civil engineers that either want to go into the Army Corps and work for the government or just looking to get into the private sector. Um, every meeting there's someone from a different company. They're very involved with the students. Um, we're, we're very fortunate to have a, a professional chapter that takes such an interest in the student chapter, so you get a lot of opportunity to meet people uh, in industry that ha you know that, that could provide you a job or help you know guide you in the right direction. Uh, so it's highly encouraged that if, if you're civil to, to give it a try. Okay, uh, what does it take to uh, join the group? All you have to do is show up. Uh, you do not have to be a member of the military. Uh, to be in the group. Uh, a lot of people have that misconception. There are veterans in the group. Uh, I'm, I'm one. Um, and a lot of the professionals were in the military at one point, um, but not everyone. One of, the, one of our active uh, members of industry that comes to our group a lot, he, he's actually never been in the military. He's never worked for the Ar Army Corps. Um, he joined the organization. Um, he's not even an engineer but he works at Hargrove and he's very, very involved with us and does a lot to help us network um, and teaches us kind of the practical part of, of working in, at a company. Right. Um, are there, what are the, uh, you said you guys have two or three special events here. Yep. Um, can you? We do, anything? we host a job fair every year. Uh, I believe it's in the spring semester. Um, SAME has a job fair in the atrium. Uh, we also do a Veterans Appreciation Day at some local nursing homes once a year, usually about the beginning of the fall semester, late summer time. Uh, and that's one of our big outreach events, community service projects. And then two times a year um, we do a networking opportunity with the Mobile post of SAME. Uh, they do a crawfish boil in the summer and the student chapter provides volunteers to help set up and clean up um, before and after the event and then we're allowed to attend for free, eat some crawfish, mingle, socialize with, with members of industry. And then around Christmas time we're invited usually by eight to ten students to the Christmas party for the mobile post uh, which is an excellent opportunity to network and get to know people. Okay. Um, here at South, what, what do you think makes the engineering program um, better than others? I think the one thing that the engineering program at South does really well is interacts with industry. Um, the city of Mobile has taken a, a very active role in the school here in fostering engineering and, and building up the industry. Um, so I think you get a lot of unique local uh, networking opportunities that you wouldn't get at other schools. Um, the only other school I've been to with an engineering program was UWF in Pensacola and they don't have near nearly as active interest from outside the school uh, for the program. Mm -hmm. For an incoming engineering student, what kind of advice would you give? Develop good study habits early on. Uh, time management and work habits. Uh, there's no reason that you should have to be up here till 2 o'clock in the morning every day studying. Uh, you start early, 
get everything done. Uh, it, it, it'll, it'll translate well when you, when you move into industry and start working to have good time management skills and be able to, to plan things. Okay. Well, thank you, Logan, and we appreciate your time. You're welcome.